Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. This is Customizing Menus for Beginners, and we're going to have another video after this for more advanced users. But uh, let me start off with a little bit of a um, tour of the of the menu system. Up here we have the uh, what's called the menu bar and as I pass the cursor over each item they light up. When you click on one down drops the actual menu. And uh, there's a few things in here that I need to point out because they become important later when we do the customization. First one is notice that new has three dots behind it. That means that this clicking that will open a dialog box. So that's a bit of a um, little bit of a hint there. Uh, next to new, there is this uh, icon. Uh, the icon does nothing. It's just there for visual thing to help you uh, clue in. If you're a more visual person, you see the, the new icon. If you're a verbal person or words person, then you'll see the word new. And on the other side is this control N, and that's the um, shortcut keystroke for uh, starting a new file. Uh, once again, uh, that doesn't do anything here in the menu. It's just there as a reminder. One other thing to show you is that uh, some of these items have a little... Uh, arrow next to them that means they open a submenu and the submenu contains then additional items that relate to the same topic in this case Shapu opening a file downloading a file and so on uh, these submenus can have further submenus as well like many other areas of BricsCAD you customize menus through the customize dialog box let's bring this up now and take a look at the menu tab Make sure you've clicked that so you can follow along. And here you go and you see the uh, names of the different items on the menu bar. You've got a file, edit view, just like file, edit view over here. Now within each one you click with this plus sign and you see what's inside the actual menu. And there's that new command and new wizard and your sheet set and so on. Notice that uh, there's the three dots and uh, let's see, uh, the second uh, plus sign is those submenus. So here's those submenus we saw earlier. Now down here is where these um, menus are customized. So here you see the name new with the three dots. Uh, you actually have to type those three dots. Uh, there's a little help thing. There's the actual uh, command that opens up the uh, new dialog box. And uh, we'll examine in the next part what uh, that uh, carrot carrot C stands for. And then if you want to add, of course, more uh, commands, you come over here to this side and, and drag them over. But uh, that's something for the next part. Here I just wanted to show you what the customized dialog box looks like and how to find your way around it. Now the official way to create new menus is not to touch any of these existing ones, but to work with a new partial menu file. I'm going to go up here to File in the Customize dialog box, click on it, and then Create New Partial KUI File. That lets us uh, put all our customization in there without affecting the official menus. So I'm going to click on here, and it's asking me for a name. Um, let's uh, call it uh, My New Menu. Uh, the name really doesn't matter. And down here, you can see the uh, new partial file is displayed by BricsCAD. Now, we're going to put things that appear on the menu bar in this item called Main Menus. So what do you want to put in there? Well, just for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just throw in a couple of things. Now, notice you can't drag them over. Uh, unfortunately, you can't. What you have to do is you have to right-click Main Menus, Append Main Menu, give it a name. Oh, uh, we'll call it uh, My Object Snaps. Okay, there we go. Now we can we can now drag them. Now that we have a name of a menu, we can drag them there. So I'm going to drag a couple in there and and we're done. Uh, notice down here in this area, BricsCAD helpfully fills in all these sections for us. I'm going to click OK so we can see uh, what our new menu looks like. Now we come up here and there's this new menu called My Object Snaps. That was the name we gave it. Click on it and there's the two new items we added. Isn't that easy? Let me show you how to make a couple of modifications to uh, menus. If you want to remove one, you uh, open up the customized dialog box, get to the menu item you want to remove, right click, choose delete. 
And Brick says, says, are you sure? And in this case, we'll say yes. The other little change I'm going to show you is uh, here. You can change the names of what is displayed by menu. So I'm going to change snap to parent intersection to imaginary intersection. And uh, you can see it's changed up here, the name of it. I'll click OK. We'll go up to our little menu and there it is changed as well. So those are some of the simple things you can do to create new menus and customize existing ones. In another video I'll show you a bit more advanced stuff and uh, hope to see you then. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.